two days, student. This is your learning dose of English lesson with teacher Elric. And welcome for today's session. Before we begin, let's have first this activity. Let's think of it. Observe carefully the picture that you can see on your screen and guess what they are doing. What are they really doing? The picture shows that the people are talking to each other. They might be talking about someone or something. Do you agree with me? So given this activity, what do you think is our discussion today? Our discussion today is about making inferences. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to make inferences based on picture. But before that, let's recall your knowledge about making inferences. By doing this activity, what will happen next? Read the following scenarios carefully and state what will happen next and justify your answer. The boy was riding on a tricycle when he found out he left his money at home. What will happen next? The boy might go back home to get his money to pay for the driver. He needs to go back because if he does not, he has no money to pay for the driver. Scenario number two. The girl came to school very late. The teacher was in the middle of discussion when she arrived. What will happen next? The girl might be scolded by the teacher because of the behavior she did. Because coming very late is an ethical to classroom rules and regulations. So let's focus on the question, what is an inference? What comes into your mind when you hear the word inference? An inference is an educated guess. But how can a guess become educated? A guess becomes educated when it is based on knowledge or experiences. Do you agree with me? It may not be necessarily correct, but it becomes more valid and reliable if it is based on knowledge and real life experiences. An inference is also said to be an assumption based on the information available. But not all information available are the ones to be relied to because there are ideas that are given beyond the lines. So we need to read beyond the lines or beyond the details given as ideas may be explicitly stated or implicitly stated. So that's what we mean by inference. So to have a clear understanding of inference, note this mnemonic. Inference, I for infer, N for notice, F for feeling, E for experiences, R for reasoning, E for educated guess, N for necessary information, C for conclusion, and E for evidence. Please take a look at this picture. What do you see in the picture? There is a man and a motorcycle. Do you agree with me? Why do you say it is a man? Because of his physical features. As we can see how he uh, dresses and how his hair looks like. What is your evidence that there is an accident? There is an accident because of the position of the motorcycle as well as the man. And what do you think will happen next? The man might be rushed to the hospital. Can you follow? 
So how did you form your inferences about the picture? What do you think about? Okay, in forming inferences, we think about context clues or our own knowledge or experiences. So how one makes an inference? What do we consider? Looking for details and matching those details to our own experiences our own knowledge. So that's how we form inferences. Let's take a look at this picture. What do you see in the picture? There is a child who is sick. What is your evidence that the child is sick? Because of the thermometer sucked into his mouth, and the way how her mother holds her head. And what do you think will happen next? The son might be given a medicine, or if his temperature gets high, he might be rushed to the hospital. Do you agree with me? Can you follow? So let's have this practice task. Infer now. Observe carefully the following pictures and make inferences on what will happen next and justify your answer. For picture number one, the river might be polluted because the boy is throwing garbages on the river, which might cause water pollution because of the chemicals of these unnecessary waste. What about in number two? In number two, the children or the boys might get sick because they are playing with the rain. Or as evident, the, the mother of these boys will be angry to them because of what they did. And now is the time to assess. Observe carefully the following pictures and make inferences about it by answering the guide question. As I ask the question, you answer after me. What do you see in the picture? Why do you say that the man is driving while using phone? And what do you think will happen next? In this picture, we can see that there is a man driving while using his phone. The evidence that the man is using is driving while using phone is because of the gadget he is holding and the position of his eyes. Instead of directly looking on the road, he is looking at his phone. So what do you think will happen next here? The, the, the man might hit the two people walking, or he may be get into an accident. So what about in number two? What do you see in the picture? Why do you say that the man snatched the woman? What do you think will happen next? In the picture, we can see that the man snatched the woman because of the position of the man who is reaching over the bag of the the woman and the woman is trying to run before the man to get her back. And probably the woman might call authority. Okay, if that's your answer, you get a try. So for your assignment, you need to make inferences about the pictures by answering the guide question. This is the first picture. And this is the second picture. Okay, I hope you learned something today. Here ends our discussion and learning dose of English lesson with teacher Elric. Thank you and have a nice day.